This is my beginning algebra course. Today you're going to take test number two of the course. If you haven't done the homework completely and correctly from the last class, do that homework before watching this video. I want to remind you that you cannot pass a math exam without doing the homework that leads up to the exam. So if you haven't done the homework, you need to spend the next two or three weeks doing that homework before taking this test or else you're just going to be wasting your time. Also, doing the homework is not enough to pass the exam. You're going to need to do at least two or three days of studying to prepare for this exam. You cannot pass math exams without studying for the test. Again, doing the homework sets a foundation so that you can take the test, but the homework is not enough. You have to spend at least two or three days studying for the exam and uh, you need to study properly. You need to make sure that you can do all the problems. And in order to make sure that you can do the problems, you have to guess what? Do the problems. Now, I know you don't want to do the problems because it takes time and it takes effort. Well, that's just the way mathematics courses work. Math courses are, are much more difficult than uh, history courses and art courses and, and other various liberal arts courses. In some of those courses, you might be able to study for an hour before, uh, before taking the test, and you can ace the test. That's not how math works. You must understand. To pass a math exam, you have to study for at least two or three days. And when you're taking really, really difficult math courses, which this is a difficult math course, sometimes you have to study a week ahead of time just to pass the exam. That's not unusual. So uh, do not take this exam unless you've studied for the exam and done all the homework leading up to this point. Now, that said, um, let's talk about the test. As usual, the test is 25 problems. There are problems that have uh, uh, multiple parts, so be aware of that. This test is going to take a while because I think there's about 47 or 48 problems total if you count all the parts. So this is going to be a, a difficult test. It's going to be pretty involved. As usual, each problem is worth four points. If a problem has four parts, then each part is worth one point. If a problem has two, two parts, each part is worth two points. I also want to mention something that I didn't uh, go over uh, in uh, test number one. Orange is a good example. So let's say that you didn't write an equal sign. There's four parts of the problem, but in one of the parts, you didn't write an equal sign. So I just want you to subtract one-fourth of the points for this part. So if there's four parts, that means there's one point for each part. And I want you to subtract one-fourth of this part. So that would just be one-fourth points. And if you, don't, uh, if you don't do it for two of the parts, then I would you subtract one-fourth again, and so on and so forth. Let me give another, another example of that. Let's say... Uh, in the purple here, you didn't show your work, and you have, let's say you have two parts, and you didn't you showed your work for this part, but you didn't show your work for this second part, so then you would subtract half of the points of this part. Well, obviously, if there's two parts, there's two points each, because again, every problem has four points. This is one problem, so there's a total of four points. Two parts, so two points each. Um, so if you want to subtract half, notice it says half here, if you subtract half, then, then you would subtract one point. So we'll talk about this more after you take the test. But uh, it's, uh, it's, everything is pretty much uh, as usual. Um, a total of 100 points. Again, 25 questions, 4 points each, 100 points. Don't be surprised if the, problem, if the, uh, the test takes 2 hours. Again, this is a long test. It should take between 1 and 2 hours. Um, I want you to subtract half of the points in every problem where your, your answer is only reduced partially. So you have to consider uh, reducing completely in these problems. Here's an example. We're multiplying these fractions. And this student canceled out the x minus 5. That disappeared. But the student didn't remember to use the negative 1 rule. So the student thought that these two factors were different, and they are different. But if you factor out a negative 1 here, they become the same factors, and the x minus 9 disappears. But the student didn't do that, so the student only did part of the problem. So you'd have to subtract half of the points. And actually, I mean to change this to uh, 
to a half. That should be half of the points. In uh, every problem where the where the uh, the fraction is only reduced partially. Also, if you uh, leave a perfect square factor under a root, I want you to subtract uh, half of the points. So, for example, if you write that's the example I give three root eight. That should be, this is four times two, four is a perfect square, four comes out as two, multiply into the three, it becomes six, and you should have six root two. So uh, if you leave your answer in this form, you're gonna lose half of the points for that problem or that part of the problem. All right, so with that said, um, move everything off your desk. You should have nothing in front of you, no internet, no notes, no, uh, no textbook, no help from anybody. You should do this on your own. You need a piece of paper, uh, a pencil, or you can use your digital notebook. But again, make sure that you don't uh, don't uh, use your notes or any any help from anything. This is the test, and notice the instructions. Um, I want you to stay, get a copy of this test. You can either write down all the problems, which is going to take a long time, or you can just print a copy out of, uh, of this test out. However, you want to do it or keep, keep a digital notebook or something like that. Staple a copy of these test questions with your work and your final answers. But again, if you're using a digital notebook, then you can just uh, have screenshots of, of this test, and that'll, that'll be fine. And you're going to write your work and your answers on a, on a separate piece of paper or your digital notebook. So here's the test. Go ahead and take a screenshot of these first two pages and a screenshot of the second two pages. And so uh, go ahead and take the test. And again, it should take you between one and two hours. And uh, when you come back, we'll, I'll, I'll talk more about how to grade your test. And we'll talk about uh, how, uh, your score uh, when you do actually calculate your score. So go ahead and take the test. And be sure to time yourself, by the way. I forgot to mention you should, you should uh, time yourself. And uh, so take the test, and when you come back, We'll uh, talk about how to grade it. All right, we're back. So these are the answers. So go ahead and get a screenshot of the first two pages and a screenshot of the second two pages. And go ahead and grade your paper. And I guess I don't really have to talk much about how to grade it because I already went over that pretty much. Again, if there's four parts, each part is worth one point. And if there's two parts, each part is worth uh, two points. So again, if you have two points, or two, excuse me, two parts, and it says to subtract one half of the points in every problem where you didn't write um, an equal sign or you didn't show work then that means in, in if this if you didn't if you didn't uh, if you didn't show work in this part, you subtract one point because each of these parts are with two points. Um, if, if it says subtract one fourth of the points, then in this problem you would subtract uh, one half because uh, one fourth of two is uh, one half. So just be aware of that. And so go ahead and grade your paper, and you you can have this uh, you have this in front of you here to help you with that. And uh, when you come back, we'll talk about your score. All right, we're back. So as usual, 90 to 100 is an A. And if you got an A, that means you know the material really, really well. 80 to 89 is a B. A B means that you know the material, but you have a few minor things you have to work on. And 70 to 79 is a C. That means you know the material, but you have some major things you have to, you have to work on and improve on. And if you got uh, 60 to a 69 or anything below, that means you don't know the material. And most likely, you didn't uh, do the homework or you didn't study for the test. Or you did the homework and studied for the test, but you didn't finish the homework. You didn't do it completely and correctly, and you didn't do it on your own, or you didn't really study for the test properly. You, you were lazy and you didn't really do the problems. Again, you can say that you did the homework, you can say that you studied for the test, but 
just looking at the paper and saying, I know how to do it now. That's not studying for a math exam. So you have to actually put the effort in. Don't pretend like you've put effort into this when you really haven't. That's one of the most common things that students do is that they score very poorly or they don't do the homework properly, and then they complain and say, I tried really hard, and the reality, 99% of the time, the reality is they really didn't try hard at all. They're just pretending that they tried and uh, complaining that, they, that they're that they not scoring well even though they're not doing the work. So again, when it comes to math courses, you can't, you can't uh, fool around. In order to pass a math exam, you have to take the course seriously. There is no middle ground. Now, if you uh, pass the exam, I'm proud of you. That's you're doing. You're doing well. Remember, this is a very, very difficult course. This is one of the most difficult courses in, in the entire math sequence: arithmetic, pre-algebra, beginning algebra, geometry, intermediate algebra, trigonometry, uh, pre-calculus, calculus one, calculus two, calculus three, and differential equations and linear algebra. Beginning algebra is one of the most difficult courses in that sequence. So this is not easy. So if you pass the exam, I'm very proud of you. If you didn't pass the exam, then what you need to do is go back and do tons and tons and tons of problems because I'm not going to write another one of these tests. I just don't have the time or the energy. You can take a test, a practice test in your book if there are practice tests, or you can try to find a, a beginning algebra practice test, but it's not going to be exactly the same as my test. So what I would recommend is just go to, into the book and do tons and tons and tons of problems because you can't go forward in this course unless you know this material. So that said, hopefully uh, you're one of the ones who passed the exam. Again, you have to take this course seriously or else you're not going to make it through. You have no chance whatsoever. Again, if you pass the exam, congratulations. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next class.